All right, so I was walking home from the dining hall down J and H with uh, one of my roommates, Caleb. Uh, no problems getting home for the most part. We just walked down Broad Street like we usually do and turned walk down Jefferson towards 17th. Uh, we get down to about 16th and we see a huge group of maybe like 15 to 20 high school age kids. And we just keep walking, minding our, our own business. And then I hear somebody running behind me and then just feel somebody jump on my shoulders and they punch me in the eye and uh, knock my glasses off. I couldn't see anything. I turned around and swung at the air and they were already running down the street. Uh, generally, just defending myself, any more of them tried to attack, you know, just getting a, being able to get a few punches in and I guess go down swinging if I was gonna get fully mugged. Uh, well, my dad went to Temple in, uh, I think, 1981 to 1982 or three. And so when I sent him a picture of it, he laughed. And then I was like, yes, well, I texted you first because you're the one that's gonna know how to break it to mom. And uh, so he told my mom, and I got a call about an hour later. <laughs> my mom was freaking out on the phone and wanted me to actually come home that night. I was like, I have class at 10 in the morning tomorrow. I can't come home. What were their reactions to seeing it in person? My mom thought it was disgusting and told me to cover it back up immediately. <laughs> and uh, my dad just laughed. Uh, have you made any changes uh, when you're walking around and things like that to try and prevent this from happening again? Uh, not really. I usually just, you know, maybe looking over my shoulder a little bit more if I'm walking home at night, but otherwise I haven't really changed my routine, except I'm, I take Cecil a little bit more often now instead of taking Jefferson to get home. Well, you know, it was a fluke incident. It could have happened to anybody. You know, there's a, a few bad kids out there, but the majority of the people that live in this area are totally just honest, good-working people. People that don't go to Temple or don't haven't been in the area much generally say, like, oh, that's classic Philly. But uh, for the most part, like, other Temple students just kind of shook their heads, you know. This could have happened to any one of them. It just happened to get to me first. No, no, they didn't take anything. They just punched me in the face and ran from, like, my wallet, my watch, nothing like that. If you could say anything to those kids, if they somehow were found and you could talk to them, what would you say to them? Uh, stay in school, you know, and don't do stuff like that. 